Welcome to a video where we're going to get some really good practice. Thinking, hearing, feeling, and expressing the rhythmic notion of three things happening on one side of your body while one thing is happening on the other, and vice versa. And we're going to accomplish that by clapping time in our laps. But importantly, we're going to do it in a very disciplined way. We're going to do it by using a metronome at a variety of tempos from slow to fast. And along the way, we're going to make sure we count the meter out loud. It's going to be fun and it's going to be productive. Promise. Let's go. So let's get things started with a three count on the metronome and at the moment 60 beats per minute and let's just start by counting the meter let's count the upbeats as well you'll see what I mean in a minute and let's just count the time and all the downbeats with both hands simultaneously in unison ready Good work. So just a quick reminder, when we do this, right, don't think about these being two separate events that you're trying to synchronize. No, when you play both hands together, think, as strange as it sounds, think as if you have one gigantic ten-fingered hand. And wham! That's one idea. Got it? One idea not two separate ideas. Sorry, I played it without the time. Here it comes, ready? Let's do it again. With one 10 fingered hand, ready? One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one. Good work. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play a dotted half note in the left hand and quarter notes in the right. This is just one in the left versus three in the right. Let's make sure we count the meter. Ready? Here it comes. Two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one. Now let's do the mirror image. Dotted half notes in the right hand, quarter notes in the left. It's going to be one versus three. Here it comes. Don't forget to count the meter out loud. One and two and three and 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 one. Now, again, don't forget when you play the ones both hands are playing together, think of that as one single ten-fingered hand, not two hands that you're trying to coordinate, right? One and two and three and one and two and three and one. Got it? And then you just keep going with whatever hand is playing the quarter notes. One and two and three and 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 one. Got it? Great. Now let's give it a go at a hundred beats per minute. Dotted half notes in the left hand, quarter notes right. Here it comes. Count out loud. One and two and three and 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 one. Mirror image. Dotted half note right, quarter notes left. One and two and three and 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 one. 
So let's talk about something really quick. How do you know you're in the groove? Well, one thing that's going to happen is it's going to be come easy. And why does it become easy? Well, eventually you're going to get the sound of and the sensation and the notion of the rhythm. It's going to no longer be just a mathematical notion in your intellect. It's going to start to, you know, manifest itself purely in physical motion in a place where you don't need to count, where there are no words, where the click, the notion, your emotions, your verbalizations all just kind of melt into each other and become one unified entity. And it's going to become easy. And you're going to wonder why it was ever hard in the first place. Don't worry if you're not there yet. You'll get there soon, I promise. In the meantime, just hang in there and keep doing these a little bit each day. Promise you're going to get there. Promise. All right, here we go. 140 beats per minute. Dotted half notes left, quarter notes right. Count the meter. I don't think we're going to get the upbeats in there, so just the downbeats. Here we go. One, two, three, 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 one. Dotted half note right, quarter notes left. Two, three, one, 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 two, three, one. I want to make another point here um, that, you know, you should always have the sense of time developed before you even make the first slap in your lap, right? And so, notice I'm counting out loud before I even attempt to play, right? Three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The other thing, you know, let your body go. Let your body get into it. You know, you don't want to be there stiff trying like one, two, three, one, two, three. No, it's like let the verbalization and your body language be natural, you know, complements of each other. In fact, not even complements. They're going to be one and the same thing, right? And the other thing, as you do this at, at faster tempos, you're going to maybe start to feel some tension creep in. Like, you know, shoulders lifting because you're trying harder. And maybe your hands now become, instead of nice and floppy, they become kind of like claws. Or, you you know, you can feel your elbows lock up and you're doing this or doing that. You know, when that happens, just like take a moment, shake it out. You know, oh, I like it. And tell yourself, you know what? It's no big deal. It's nothing, right? Here it comes. And one thing you could do is you can kind of ping pong back and forth. You could do three to one and one to three. Just keep going back and forth from one side of your body to the next, like this. Ready? One, two, three, one, two, three. Whoop! See, I flammed. Did you catch me? Let me fix this. I was talking and instead of doing. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Three, one, two, 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 three, one. So have some fun with this too, right? This isn't supposed to be drudgery. This should be joyous and fun. Got it? We're cooking now. 180 beats per minute. Dotted half left, quarter notes right. Count out loud. One two three 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 one dotted halves right quarter notes left one two three 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 one so I want to take a moment to point something out that you may or may not have noticed. 
you notice that even for the very first downbeat that we play, we can't start from here, right? We start from here. So we can't go one. No, it's, let's wait for it. Here comes. One, two, three, 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 one. Right? So you have to have that sense of momentum and the anticipation, even going into that very first downbeat. Got it? Allow me to close this out with a few words of encouragement. If you take the heart and do what I'm describing here, I will guarantee you, you will master this and you're going to get to the point where you're going to go like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know why I, this was hard once upon a time. This whole notion of meter and rhythm is going to go from just this abstract mathematical concept in your brain and it's going to just permeate your entire being. You're going to hear it. You're going to think it. You're going to feel it. You're going to be able to express it spontaneously. And it won't take years. It won't take months. I don't even think it'll take weeks. If you do it in a very disciplined manner, I think you're going to get there in just a matter of a few days. Maybe even a few hours. But you've got to do it. And you can't skip any of it. You can't skip the metronome part. You can't skip the verbalization part. And you have to be honest, right? You have to be honest if you're flamming. You got to be honest if you mess up and you're not quite in time, right? This is the path to success. Not some innate talent, but your willingness to study and practice the right things the right way.